Let's see. Rebel Spirit. I think I've seen your name your name before. There's a guy, there's a guy, Sean, who's saying that Switzerland is the home base and in charge of this bullshit, and they come from the pharaohs. Okay, I don't know if they come from the pharaohs. I don't know how anybody would be able to prove that since we have no idea exactly who the pharaohs were, except for a few of the dynasties, like the Nubian dynasty. We know that there were there, there were there were Nubians. As a matter of fact, the Nubian dynasty, the 26th dynasty of Egypt, was the only dynasty in recorded history that we have any evidence that black men sat on the throne of Egypt. It was called the 26th dynasty. It was also the last dynasty before Egypt totally collapsed and became basically subservient to Persia, then, then Macedonia, then the Ptolemies, which were descendants of the Macedonians, then the Romans, y'all all know the tragic story, 31 BC of uh, Queen Cleopatra committing suicide, if it really was a suicide. So, uh, <clears throat> we do know that the Hyksos were, were, the Hyksos were actually uh, Westerners. They were Amuru. And these were basically Caucasians that were, their base of operations was Mari, M-A-R-I, in the kingdom of Mitanni. And they are the Amorites of the Old Testament. And the Jews didn't, they couldn't stand them. They demonized them. But they actually, they, they, they conquered Babylonia and uh, they established the fifth dynasty of Babylon, which was the, which was the uh, Amorite dynasty. And, Man, these people here ruled Egypt as the Hyksos. They were called Hyksos, which is a derogatory term because the Egyptians couldn't stand shepherds. So they called them shepherd kings. But uh, the shepherd kings were actually like, like Abraham. Well, there was no Abraham. That was a Jewish fiction. But there was an Abram. But it depends on geographically where you're referring to because these old stories are based in history, but they're not from the Jewish context. They're from the Sanskrit and the Vedic Almost all the stories of the of the book of Genesis, they come straight out of the Vedic literature. Abram is none other than Brahma. And Sarah, his wife, is none other than Sarah Swati, the wife of, of uh, Brahma. So, and there's a lot of other correlates as well. But when the Jews were in Babylon in the 5th century, they just went to copying everything. They went in those libraries and they plagiarized everything. And they, and they, and they put together this book in the 3rd century B.C., yeah, third century BC. We're talking about 15 centuries after the events they depict. They wrote this narrative and they called it Genesis, which means generations.